ladies and gentlemen, we have made it past the first round of the IFL playoffs. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm as surprised as you are, you know, with the way these games went. I'm as just surprised as you are because the prediction went completely wrong, you know? It, everything went completely wrong, you know, for as far as playoffs go, you know, and I don't, I don't think you, I don't think anybody expected the final four we got, but alas, we got this final four, and you know, Green Bay beats Quad City, of course, you know, with a suffocating defensive effort, thirty-four twenty-three. Frisco, unfortunately, blew it yet again. That's another playoff loss for Frisco. You know, which is, you know, really astounding because Frisco had the lead and they couldn't stop the run. They 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 forced the only turnover in the game, too. And that didn't mean anything when Massachusetts made the stops when they needed to. Which again, you know, I don't think I don't think I expected Massachusetts to get to the conference championship because they've been pretty inconsistent. You know, at times, yeah, they can hold teams to a low score, but could they have kept, could they keep up with Frisco? That was the big question, and that the answer to that was yes, they can. They can keep up with Frisco. They beat them. Big shock, to be completely honest with you. I thought T.J. Edwards and company had you know all the tools needed, but now it's going to be Alejandro Benefil, Thomas Owens. And those Pirates heading up to Green Bay on August the 2nd, which will be Friday, Friday night. And that's going to be interesting. So the East, Eastern Conference Championship is going to be that game. But the West, again, decided to be as wild as could be as Dalton Sneed with the QB sweep of the century. You know, there were multiple times in this game that Arizona had to Go call on Dalton to take a QB sweep for a touchdown. And that was like a whole sequence during that game against Vegas in which, you know, like Arizona was definitely about to, you know, turn it over on downs before they decided to finally just call the sweep play. So, yeah, Arizona's moving on. And then we take it on San Diego, who surprised Bay Area, which, again, very surprised me because these teams played – this is the fifth time these two teams played. Bay Area had won three of the four regular season meetings, and yet now in the game that counts, San Diego was able to overcome Bay Area, and it was back and forth for most of that game, especially that first half. And yet the strike force are moving on, and they'll be playing Arizona, and we don't know when that game will be. It could be Saturday. It could be Sunday. We don't know. On the flip side of the TAL, you know, Duluth beat Iowa. Of course, Iowa is the worst team in the league by far. They finished one and seven. Duluth five and three. Ozarks have to come to a high school field to play Kansas City again. Kansas City's field still having floor issues. So the Goats played this game at a high school. I've contacted both Ozarks and Kansas City. To see if I can get an interview with either of those teams. I don't know if I will at this time, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a little longer. I'm going to wait a little longer. I, I got some help I'm trying to secure something, but so far nobody's nobody's paid attention to what I asked. You know, I said, hey, let me, you know, at any point between now at Arena Mania, any point between now and the next couple of weeks, I want to interview some guys from your team. Nobody said anything yet, so we'll wait and see on that. I'm probably not going to interview Iowa guys. Sorry, Woo fans. You guys, I think I remember contacting the Woo with that not going too well, you know, back in February. But it is what it is, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. So, yeah, the, the TAL playoffs, um, we have the Duluth Ozarks game. That's going to be Saturday in Duluth. And then the um, Kansas City game will probably be back at the high school. At least that's what Kansas City is saying. It's likely that game will be played between Iowa and Kansas City at a high school. But honestly, I, I hope I hope not. I hope not. But 
you know, I hope, you know, because they've been talking for, and this is about to be week number five of talking to arenas around Kansas City, and somebody's got to say something. You can't have your, you can't, you know, just like you can't have your championship at a mall, you cannot have your championship outdoors if Kansas City makes it to the TAL championship. You can't have it. You can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it. You got it. You got to find a way to play this game indoors, you know. So the weird disaster that Kansas City's gone through with their arena, you know, is unfortunate, but it happens. So we know two of our four playoff games next week. We also know the Hot Springs team down in Arkansas. We call it the Wise Guys, which is interesting. Very interesting team name. The TAL is embracing the weird names, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, other than that, there was the stadium deal that I that the IFL announced this week, and I got to tell you, um, yeah. And it turns out we will have a Monday night game. So the um, so we're going to have a Monday night game. Ain't ain't that crazy? So so San Diego, Arizona will be Monday night. You have to be kidding me! All right, the arena availability is insane. I thought. I, I thought I thought we were uh, all right. All right. So now we have it confirmed that it will be Monday, August the fifth at seven oh five. Um you know, that that should be um seven oh five. I'm I'm not sure. I believe that's probably eight o'clock on the central time zone. I believe that's eight o'clock central. I forget, you know, because Arizona, you know, Arizona time works differently than ours. Uh, yeah. 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 A Monday night game. This 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 game just loves to hate me, don't, don't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh man, but I'm I'm excited nonetheless. I'm excited nonetheless. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it yet. I'm not gonna cry about it until August the fifth. I'm not gonna cry about it until August the fifth. I'm not gonna cry about it until August the fifth. I'm not gonna cry about it until then. So next time I see you, beautiful people, it will be August the fifth. You know, as far as the arena indoor football scene goes, again, the Amarillo Venom changed their name to the Amarillo Dusters, which is like um, a former AF2 team name or something like that. Again, um, the, the, that that I do want to talk about real quick. Um, we don't know where Amarillo is going to go, but Robert Reina and company, who, who I also want to interview, I want to interview Robert Reina at some point. Um, but I think that'll be a next year type thing. You know, I think when I ask, it'll be next year. In 2025, when I start my, you know, interview series up for next year, I think I'm gonna do that. Try to ask, you know, him see what he's got going on and cooking. And the NAL, the other, the other thing is the NAL, you know, is anticipating a tenth team at some point. Now, this is not, this has not been, you know, really, you know, the greatest kept secret out there that the NAL is expanding even further. Um, a lot of moving pieces here. With the NAL right now, now somebody's saying, you know, there's a Shreveport team coming. I'm hearing from Jim now that there's a pit that there could be a Pittsburgh team, or at least that's what was implied. You know, the message was cryptic, but you know, I'm hearing from Shady that it's a Shreveport team. I'm here, I'm hearing all sorts of things. So I don't know what in the world's going on, but since the NAL is doing a lot better at you know announcing things, you know. You know, at least announcing things that you know are are tangible. I, I can at least say that we have the nine right now. That's all I can say. I don't know what the tenth team will be. Don't ask me because I'm I'm the last person to know. You know, I'm the last person to know. So please don't ask me. I don't know. Um. Yeah. 
so the tip team will be somebody, maybe Shreveport, you know, maybe like a Pittsburgh. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. We're, we're just ro we're just rolling with things. Whoever that tip team is, the NAL is getting a little better at tightening things up. So we'll figure out who the tip team is when we figure that out. When they say something, you know, it's not not as easy to obtain now. You know, now the NAL is trying to get a little bit more solid, you know, footing, you know, to obtain the information. So I'll wait, like I always do. We'll find it out together. As far as the IFL deal with stadium goes, yeah, I, I, I personally didn't really care for it. Like, why Why we, you know, I, I guess the IFL gets paid from this deal, apparently. But the streams were all terrible this weekend at various points, all four streams. We're talking about Wendy's 4 and 4 special of streams glitching out. And I get it. It's the arenas, not specifically stadium themselves, although stadium could be a factor. And the streaming has been a problem all season long. Like don't 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 get it twisted. People like people must not be watching because people hey there, there, there's been problems with streams all season long, you know. Sometimes it's more subtle than others. Other times it's been very blatant and in your face about it with the streams, you know, being a problem. Yeah, it's a free platform. Of course, they use a free platform now, which I'm surprised they moved from OTA. But I guess, I guess when you can't acquire anything useful, you know, as far as sports rights goes, I guess you got to move away from OTA, which I mean, I'm still shocked they even moved. I, I didn't even know they moved from over the air. But whatever, man. Whatever. So, yeah. See you all again as far as the arena indoor football scene goes on Monday, August the 5th. It will be pretty late. I can guarantee you that. So it will be pretty late when we talk the four games next week and whatever news the NAL decide to try it out or whatever anybody else decides to try it out. And I'm still targeting some people for interview. So, you know, my final interview of the season, I really want a sixth. And final interview for the seasons. So let's hope I can get it before August the seventeenth. Let's hope I can get it. I would love to. I would love an interview before then. So yeah, August fifth, we'll come on back and talk the indoor football arena football fight that is the fifty yard fight. You know, so yeah, we're still on. We're still getting close to three hundred subs too. So that's also good. So let's get closer to that, and see y'all soon.